Summer is here. Time to start thinking more about sun protection. We are here with Dr. Erica Armstrong. What exactly should we be looking for when we are choosing sunscreen? When choosing a sunscreen, the first thing to look for is it broad spectrum, meaning it covers against both UVA and UVB rays, both of which can cause skin cancer. Secondly, water-resistant sunscreens are a better choice. Sunscreens can no longer claim to be waterproof, but uh, you can look for water resistant. Well, nobody wants them, but sunburns sometimes happen. What are some tips for preventing sunburn? Well, starting with sunscreen, if you are gonna be in the water or sweating, make sure to reapply every two hours. You can also dress you, yourself and your children in lightweight clothing that's tightly woven. Um, you can check to see if the uh, sun rays are being blocked by ch putting your hand underneath the clothing and see if you can see your hand through. They also do make special clothing um, with a UPF um, protection factor. And so when it comes to sunburn, are there things that we can do to treat sunburn or to alleviate some of the pain that could result from it? The first thing to do after a sunburn is to stay out of the sun until the sunburn has completely resolved. Secondly, you can put a cool compress on the area or some aloe lotion or an Aveeno lotion with oatmeal um, or baking soda. Mm -hmm. I bet doctors would tell anyone that they need to be very vigilant during the summertime, but really, even here in Michigan, it's something we should consider all year round. You're right, um, and clouds actually don't block many uh, UV rays, so it's important to wear sunscreen each day. Clouds can be kind of a false uh, reassurance for us.